What time is it, Christine? 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? Mm -hmm. What are you doing up so early? I don't know. Why? <laughs> I don't want to wake up. That's how it's like. We're about to head out to meet out with uh, a bunch of different riders to ride from Vancouver to Whistler. So we don't know how we did it with Wrongway, but this is Christine's first time, as well as a bunch of local riders' first time. It's a little bit of a cheat because uh, they're closing down the highway for a bike event, and so we're kind of racing the bikers. We gotta, we gotta go before they do, and we cannot get in their way. So, so let's gear up. Ah, oh, it is. It's, it's quite early. I mean, welcome to two cells, one pack. Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you in a bit. See you. Now about 4.30 in the morning, uh, just a little past 4.30, we are on our way to Science World to meet up with the rest of the crew. Uh, there should be around eight, eight of us or so, nine of us maybe. Uh, maybe a couple more who may be going half the way instead of all the way. And hopefully Roger will also be able to wake up early enough to join us. Uh, dropped him off a Master Pro yesterday, so hopefully he shows up. See you soon. Five, almost five in the morning. We've got a couple people here at the science world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So far there's eight of us, but I know there's a couple more that's supposed to be showing up. So Yeah, these are the official official safety cars for the RVC Grand Fondo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait for Roger. How's <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's Peter. Roger, are you safe? No, I, thought I, I thought you were Aaron, man. <laughs> I thought you were Aaron for a second. Aaron's in McDonald's. In the flesh. Oh, is he? will be on my uh, video. We're all vlogging today. Yeah, when you guys hang out with me, you'll hear me say, am I recording like every 43 minutes or so? That's because I really don't know if I'm recording. I was going to bring my camera today and I thought, there's going to be like five, six cameras. I'm not going to bring my camera. Oh, 100% there will be. <laughs> oh, hey, also, look what I got. Look what I got. Last minute pedal adjustments. Five minutes to departure. We're running on schedule exactly. <laughs> There's no questions floating. I can see the sweat here. coming from some of these brows right now. Wheel Not sweat. 
bird dodged me. Imagine this trip to Spiru. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I've done this many times. I've done this many times. <laughs> I gave up so stripping after college. <laughs> Right, who can do it the fastest? <laughs> hey man, he got a head start. Yeah, I have to say though, those yeah. pedal screws are pretty long. <laughs> they are pretty long. Oh, These aren't long. breaking. It's good. <laughs> Yo, why are they longer than my screws? Because life matters. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's my. just like that, bro. Hands are chilly. Genetics. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to pull that Asian card out. Okay, it's all natural. Congratulations on your tire change. Thank you. Successful. Wait, wait. I don't know what that rubbing sound though. Oh, you got that? Is that? That looks like the S22. No, no. Wait, no, no, that's not. It's Master Pro. <laughs> Master Pro. Oh, that's all. Master Pro. Oh, that's all for Sir Chris. EX30. <laughs> Master Pro. Master Pro. EX30. Master Pro. EX30. What the heck is this? <laughs> what wheel is this? Is this some AliExpress knockoff? <laughs> we're rolling out. It's a little bit late. We're uh, a couple minutes behind, but uh, we're all here. So, ow, I just got hit by a branch. Let's go.
You should have recorded the fire. Hey Liam. Yo. What time is it? It's almost 7, 6.45. Chilling on the side of the highway. <laughs> got George Watson. What are we doing here, guys? We got a flat. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do work. Three supervisors and one guy doing work. So we're at the first charge stop right there. Whistler, here we come! <laughs> yeah. Exercising, warming up. Whistler, I hope you're warm like this. It's so cold here. Albert is at the back with another rider pumping up his tire, and they should be here soon. This feels pretty good. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah, good. I have, but I got it, and then I sold it right away. Um, but I like. Charging, gonna head out and meet up with the rest of the group. Oh, you got your B-roll going? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go.
gonna be okay. Oh, no. And then it suddenly got really cold when she had to finish. You felt the wall of ice there. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah. Even when we were standing, uh, sitting there, like, waiting to pump the tire, like, the cold air just kept rolling, freezing over. Yeah, the, uh, flat tire situation. Yeah. What's it's now probably around 9 o'clock. Uh, we just left the McDonald's and heading over to Toyota to meet up with the rest of the crew and hopefully continue our journey up to Whistler. <laughs> I did a Marty pose. I thought I was going to squish into it. That's what I thought I too. Squish. I did the Marty pose. What? The Marty pose. The Marty pose? What do you mean, lay down on the ground like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see how it's being recorded. Yeah.
We have arrived. Alex has made it. There's a couple of pumps from the from the tire. So what's your plan going forward, Alex? I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, at least you did Wait, it. You made it. <laughs> super, super, super tired. We're gonna go grab some food. We got Syl, George, and Roger. You can rent those. You could. It's only like a dollar I know it's to cheap. rent or something. It's super cheap. How many cells are inside of each of those? How many do you have to rent, rip apart, and then put inside the Master Pro? That's the question. No, no we're just saying to go grab lunch. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Change the question. But they just keep pouring in. <laughs> the whole point is to tons of people. I know. <laughs> is there somebody inside that inflatable ball? I hope so. <laughs> oh really? Ah, uh, maybe burgers. Is that cool with you guys? I've got the deep fried pickles. What's the consensus? Uh, I don't know. It looks good. No, you're your pickle, the one that you ate. I love it. Yeah? Yeah, I'd definitely <laughs> order it again. Hmm? Yeah. He first said, this is very interesting. <laughs> but then I changed my mind. Then Do you he... think he's maybe baiting us to try it? <laughs> it does look, you, you can deep fry anything and it's good. So <laughs> I'm going to guess that it could be like deep fried rat entrails and I'd still enjoy it. So <laughs> I think he liked it. Why is that on the menu? This is amazing. Yeah, you happy with the burger? 100%, this is great. Wow. Happy with the burger. Splits, seems yeah. like it's a rider's choice. Mm -hmm. Can Christine bite it? <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. the smallest bite I've ever seen. It's like half of it. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Appreciate it. Oh, Albert, Thank you. Enjoy. Outlets on the wall right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. So wait, every rider gets one of these? Yeah, if you do the forte, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's feel, heavy feel too. That it's like a <laughs> weapon. <laughs> I do marathons, but this is nothing like a marathon. Yeah, I I don't it's the only marath the only marathon metal I know that that's like that size is the Marathon Majors one. That's really crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> As per George's recommendation, let's try this pickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Really interesting. It went back to interesting. <laughs> it's good, but good interesting. I've never tasted anything. Mm. Really, it's good, yeah. yeah it's I ate the whole pickle though. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's empty. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> We treated it like an onion ring. <laughs> I don't go that way, that's fine. We'll just get out of here and then find our way over. Stomach's full. Ready uh -huh. for a nap. Nap? <laughs> we can still have to ride back home. And I just sleep all the way back home. <laughs> Better? Just hang on one more sec, guys. There we go. Nope. 
Oh, yeah, it's perfect venue. Mm -hmm. Wait. Ooh, yeah, you, guys, you, guys, you guys might have these. Oh, look, a wild Roger appears. Some medals are this big, and some medals are this big. It's now about 2 o'clock. Just getting ready to unplug our wheels and get geared up. And we're going to do a little bit of the valley trail, some scenic routes before we head back to the city. Wish us some luck. Has a yeah, when he was rolling in front of me, it was like squishing, almost contacting cool. the rim. I was like, oh, that's really flat. I took that corner and I felt it like right away. We think you should take a cab back. Cause... I know, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, well, a cab well. with Alex. Hey, now you can the cost. Exactly. <laughs> wait, 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 Alex. Evil, right? I, 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 I don't have a Evo account. Account. <laughs> I only have an Evo bike account. You guys can share a bike. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Basically. <laughs> Uh -oh. But yeah, that BMS beep from wherever you are, no matter how far away he is, 
We can like, hear is that it. my wheel? Uh, <laughs> uh, can I borrow your slime, uh, George? That's what it feels like. <laughs> what, whatever's cool. going on, whatever I do. It's George's BMS beep now. Really? Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like, wherever I am, I, and I was riding next to him. <laughs> it's tinnitus. It's like PTSD. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh. What are we running over that would get so many flats? Oh, yeah. Drama. You should have bought more slime while we were in Whistler Village. Yeah, they put the... Are we passing back there again? Okay, so we've got two wheels that have gone down with uh, discrepancies of air pressure. We don't understand what happened to this air, but it looks like an area with no crime. Somebody's stealing the air out of the tires. I mean, somebody in this place was breathless or breathtaking. <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys want to do that What's instead? That? Who wants to go up there? My, my tire tube oh, is unsalvageable. <laughs> Albert, am I allowed to abuse this wheel a little bit? Do whatever you like. Oh is shoot, that was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's Roger. Bradley, it was him. <laughs> Come in! Hey. <laughs> you know, I'd probably do it with my wheel, but I don't think a master pro is the right thing to do that with. That's line? I'll go down it, but I don't think I could go up it. Do it. Go down it then. No, it's not out of here. Come on. Come on. It's a lot of dead tree stuff here. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Sounds like a motorcycle Okay. It's going to come down. Watch out for skateboarders. Nice. You guys have my helmet, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Cut it off, cut it off! <laughs> Seed at this, but I'm going to try it. This is a Master Pro, and that is more of a uh, Master Extreme-y kind of a thing. But let's see what happens. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> coming with us but no uh, we'll catch you around. See you later. Now it's us. I guess we go down to those picnic tables. I'm not tables. gonna leave him alone. Should we go to those picnic tables? <laughs> yes. Story time with Albert. We're at Tim Hortons. I got a flat tire, put slime in it, tried to pump it up, no go. Took a nap on a bench near the water. Snored a little bit, so kind of felt bad. So I decided to come to Tim Hortons to get a coffee. But my tire was zero PSI, so it's quite sketch riding it at uh, because you know walking is way slower than riding so i tried my best to ride it got here sitting down waiting for doug to come pick us up christine's playing some games 
as you can see bumblebee is not behind her and that's because we actually let her swap wheels with another rider who also got a flat so we're just here waiting for our doug to pick us up and uh then we gotta head down to squamish and pick up a third rider that's having some battery bms issues so he's not able to charge his wheel his bms is still beeping so on the way back we're gonna pick him up and continue our way back to vancouver it's quite the eventful trip but i have to say that it's given us a lot of thought as to what wheel or what device would be good for long distance tripping and to be very frank i'm kind of tempted to consider a bagode k6 because it can be fun for short rips here and there but if you take a longer trip it could be interesting let me know your thoughts. I checked my bucket list. I rode to Whistler. <laughs> That's all I care about. I don't need to go back. The real question is why is Christine wearing an alien ride shirt? Uh uh. <laughs> 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 So right now it's about uh, 5.20 p.m. and our ride should be arriving around 6 p.m. ish and then we'll head to Squamish and pick up the last guy. So we started the trip with 12. Two people left early because they had other things to do and now they're down to eight because we are still in Whistler and I guess they're gonna leave that other guy in Squamish so that because they're down to seven. So a good 30% of us have not successfully completed the whole round trip, but it's still fun. And technically I did do it last time with wrong way. So I'm not too cheesed. See you shortly. Some people ask why we enjoy doing longer trips like this. And to be honest, it's a lot of bonding, a lot of good views, especially because we ride up to Whistler, but it's quite the challenge as well. Um, so from the start of the day, we met up, one of the riders was late, so we kind of waited for them. We then rode up to Squamish and Roger luckily brought an extra charger for me. And when we got to Squamish, I found out my charger wouldn't turn on. So I brought a charger for no reason. And then when I tried to use Roger's charger, I realized it didn't have the correct plug that I needed, which means I could only charge at 10 amps. And although I told the riders that they needed at least 2000 watts of charging, we had one rider who brought 1300 watts of charging only. And so it ended up being a bit of a challenge. Then on the way up to Whistler, he had one flat tire, which we slimed up on the side of the road. And we had to pump up his tire every 10 to 15 kilometers or so. Then he had range anxiety because he got no battery. At which point I had to grab a stick <laughs> and tow him about 10 kilometers to Squamish. And then going up to, from Squamish to Whistler, we had really heavy winds. We had bicycles passing or Bicycles trying to pass Roger because Roger tended to block them by accident Which is not so great, but it is what it is um, But we had a good meal at Whistler And then during our scenic tour I made a right turn and suddenly my wheel went wobbly and Roger thought I was drunk <laughs> So when I pulled over I found out my tire went straight to zero psi so I guess later when I get home, I'm gonna see whether I got a puncture in there or something or something got in. But it's quite interesting because the slime did not help whatsoever. So even with the slime in there, it didn't really change anything. So it's one of those things where it kind of pushes you to prepare mentally, physically. It forces you to make sure your wheel is in tip top condition. And if not, it forces you to find solutions on the fly 
And even when we get to Whistler, Roger couldn't find his cable. Charging cable too, so he couldn't charge his wheel. Yeah. So it's been quite the eventful trip, but uh, it does kind of give you more mental preparation and it kind of gives you a, a good challenge. So if you successfully complete the challenge, it's a really good feeling. Right? So I think that's the main reason why we do these long rides. Um, but really it's also because Whistler is such a beautiful place. And I would never say no to so coming here. Okay. Little secret, before we had EUCs, me and Christine would drive up to Whistler probably like... Four or five times a year. No, no, I would say like at least four really? or five times a month. No way. In the summer. And then in the winter, a couple times a month. So we'd probably come to Whistler 30, 30, 40 times a year, regardless. But coming on an EUC is just an extra treat. So, yeah. Maybe next time we'll be on a K6. No, I'm gonna bring my extreme back and do the trail. No, I meant riding to Whistler. Like riding all the way to Whistler. All the way. I don't think I want to do it again. No, never again? It's too windy. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll drive here and then ride some trails and hopefully nobody kicks us off the trails. Oh, I think Our what savior is, is here. Oh, so now I gotta lift Dog is here. up a little bit. Yes, it's all real in oh. there. Can't have. tell if that stand helped me or not. <laughs> Two master oh, one nick thirty. Be gentle. It's a big old wheel. Doesn't like gentle. Uh -huh. We'll figure out how to put the other one later. Oh, put the, put that down then. I might just need to rip off my pads. <laughs> Pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is Velcro, right? Oh, yeah. We'll put the link of the Velcro in the description then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a, this is a uh, sorry? It's the Christmas stuff, right? Yeah. Pretty strong stuff. There you go. Oh. Okay. Uh, like, now one more wheel here, I guess. For the kids, then. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Look, but he made it to Squamish. Yeah, well, he had enough battery to get to Spanish. Alright, let's go to Spanish and pick up George. Oh, the wheel was beeping right now. Yeah, Simo's gonna come pick us up because he had a three-hour break between uh, reception and ceremony. Oh, and then he's gonna come pick us up. Yeah, Simo's gonna come pick us up because he had a three-hour break between ceremony. Oh, and then he's gonna come pick us up because he had a three-hour break between reception and ceremony. Oh, and then he's gonna come pick us up because he had a three-hour break between reception and ceremony. Oh, and then he's gonna come pick us up because he had a three-hour break between reception and ceremony. Oh, and then he's <laughs> so many times to me. <laughs> it's because you're too tall. Oh. Do we need to lose it? Is it the seat? You think it's the seat? There's so much wheel. So many wheels in here. There you go. Sorry, I don't care. What time is it? Save 30. Okay. Christine and I were saved by Doug that we're <laughs> eating food. Is this family? I flowed in. Finally home. 9 45. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm ready to pass out. We've been up since 3 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like, subscribe. That's the end for the day. Thank ding you dong, for ding watching. Dong. Bye bye.